Blade and Crypt by Andrew Bespecos. Tavern tales of far away, of cavern dwellers big and small. Beautiful and deadly they guard a crypt. For reasons unknown to those known of the tale, have barely left the trail to avail in their conquest to find the crypt. Without dying first, there's always one survivor to tell the tale. One such a man listens, sipping ale, riveted by the tale. He holds a blade by his side, stained with blood from enemies near and far. Dear me, what could be going through his head? Has he thought in his stead to follow the trail ahead? He accepts the task, take on the cave and find the crypt. The further he goes, the further the fear and dread. Better to try and be dead than not try at all. Courage is what this warrior needs. First creature to appear, long flowing hair like a beautiful woman. But her skin is as pale as the night sky. She starts to attack. He takes his stance. Breathing heavily yet unyielding, he takes one swing and cuts off her head. He moves forward, barely broke a sweat. The next to take on looks like the mythical Medusa, slithers like a snake. Yet eyes are vacant as a black hole, the creature is menacing. But not to this warrior, the fight goes blow for blow. But eventually the warrior stands tall and all. He takes the trail forward. He sees the crypt and the one who guards is the last of the three creatures. This one identical to the last and yet as radiant as the Garden of Eden. But as vicious as a beast of no burden, the fight is intense. Blow for blow, the warrior nearly falters, but finds a hinge of an opening. And with a switch of stance, one last swing, thing comes clean the beast's head. The corpse leaves a trail of beautiful flowers, nearly as beautiful as the end of the earth. But before the warrior takes leaves, he checks the crypt with curious intent, opening if the casket. He sees what no man has seen before. It's empty except for one coin. There is a face on the coin. Oddly enough, it's his own face. Such amazement as to what it means. To the victor goes the spoils.